So, see how we go here. Certainly easier to one shot these guys with the slagger. Sandhawk has slower moving bullets, as did the Herald, but Slagger has faster faster firing bullets. Now he's up and moving around now. Bullymong seems to turtle up when you're near it, my cohort. Maybe you should get some distance before engaging it. White Jacob's shotgun. It looks like about it there. So no Rough Rider shield yet. Hope I get it this time, yeah. Thought we might get lucky that time. Yeah, the game, game won't, won't uh, give it to me this time. I got unlucky with my uh, Ultimate Vault Hunter Sandhawk and Pimpernel as well. I got slag versions of the Sandhawk and the Pimpernel. So the game wasn't very helpful giving me a good uh, Sandhawk and Pimpernel either. But maybe we'll get lucky this time. Guess you get nothing because you already got the Herald and the B quickly. Yeah, that's true. We got the Herald uh, pretty quickly as well, and the B we got on the second try. So I guess the game was was uh, nice to us there. We weren't trying a lot to get the B or the Herald. good that you see the enemies on the mini-map before they actually come out of the spawn point. There we go, we've got a rough rider this time. Let's make some room for it. Let's drop some junk here. We did pick up a few junky mission items we can drop. Okay, let's have a look. I finally got one. So it gives you 20% damage resistance and zero capacity. What is the rainbow rep weapon you got? I got uh, I got the toothpick here, which is a Dahl assault rifle. So I got this guy, and I also have this one. A Nirvana SMG. I've got two of these rainbow weapons. They're both flame ones. So they're both from the Commander Lilith DLC.
Yeah, you get those from the Commander Lilith DLC. There's a whole bunch of rainbow stuff you can get from that DLC. And you can you can get some uh, a couple of uh, rainbow skins for the vehicles as well. Like for the runner and the bandit technical, you can get uh, rainbow skins for those. I'm not sure about the uh, the other ones. Now we can respec so that we have plus five in fleet and put the Banshee on. Okay, so let's just see what I have here. Okay, we've got the Breakneck Banshee here. So level 30 for the Sanctuary DLC. And make sure you pick up the mission from Ellie, positive self-image or something, to change the enemy AI to drive away from you. All right, positive self-image, right. So can we respec here? Anyway, we can fast travel out. And then go to the Friendship Gulag, re into the dust to set the spawn to this area. Transition and start zooming. All right, let's see. Let's go back to Sanctuary here. Respects have plus five in fleet. So respec. Yes. Hope you like the speed. Everyone does that. Okay, so this will be interesting. So four side. Emulate. Chain reaction. Cloud kill. Reaper. So Blight Phoenix or Helios. Kinetic Reflection Fleet Inertia You can think of this as your farming build, right Mine's eye, critical hit damage, melee damage. Sweet release, wreck. Nineteen points left.
suspension. Increases the cooldown rate of your phase lock. Well, we've got four left. I can try elated. Just do it that way. Okay, so now if I put on the the Rough Rider. Yeah, so re yeah, respecking is being able to respec whenever you want is very useful. And also, respecking is based, oh yeah, you can really notice the difference in the speed now. Zooming around. What's the best relic we can get as Maya? Currently using a legendary cat class mod. Currently using, oh no, I'm using the Banshee at the moment, but I was using this one, Legendary Cat Class Mod. So that's a lot faster, isn't it? So what is my fleet up to now? So fleet is up to 11. So here's another rainbow skin you can get with the Commander Lilith DLC for the Bandit Technical here. So I just got this one recently. I've had the runner, uh, the rainbow runner skin for a while, but not this one, the Bandit Technical one. Yeah, I was using the toothpick. I was using the toothpick relic with the, oh, the, tooth, the mouthwash relic with the toothpick. A fantastic day for capitalism. Actually, we need to change our level. We need to do that too. So let's uh, save quit here. And switch up our level to. So OP2, that's correct. Bones of the Agents are good, stockpile relics. Haven't really messed with stockpile relics very much. I think I've played around with them once before, but not for very long. Get a car. I should probably check if I've done if I've accepted that particular mission as well. So let's yeah, let's sort by region. Let's look at the dust. I don't know, I'll have to check. I'll have to check check Ellie's to see whether I actually have that mission or not. Oh, 
Let's just talk to Ellie for a second, see what missions I have have to pick up from her. Wow, the speed is so much faster. Okay, so it looks like I've accepted all the missions from Ellie. I might have actually put it in the ignore list. That's probably where it is. So what was the name of that one we needed to get? Positive self-image, right. Oh, here we go, positive self-image. So I have that one active at the moment. So it looks like I've accidentally picked up three of the ornaments, but so it's currently active. So it's, it's surprising when you first start running after exiting from a menu because you run so fast. So we can, uh, we probably have to, oh no, the save point's back there. I'll probably hit the save point. So I might have to set the save point again. Oh, the, wood, uh, the good, the bad, and the Mordecai mission to open up Slyuda Farm. Now, have I done that one? I think... Uh, let's have a look. Let's try to do the farm and see if it works. Oh yeah, we've done that. I think we have... Oh, I think we might have. I'll have a look. I don't know. Yeah, I'll see, see if we have. We can jump from here. Okay, the XP, yeah, I think I have. Yeah, I think I have done it. Yeah, it looks like I have. Let's have a look at the rest of our loadout here. We've got the toothpick, oh, we've got the Herald as well. We have the Herald. I guess we switch out the Rough Rider at this point. Let's sort by type. And put this Sandhawk on. You're saying you did something behind Ellie's, maybe get to that church. Yeah, you may want to at least swap shields for now to get the amp. Yep. Yep. So 
So nothing that time. If you remember, there's that corner next to the church door you can use to only spawn get. Oh, okay, so get the only one we need. So it's like here, it's like here, or up here. Okay, so that'll just spawn Gettle. Bandit launcher. The corner at the outside of the door frame, right. So on the outside. So you could focus on him only, phase like him from far away, and snipe him without having to swap shields. Okay, yep. Yeah, without having to swap shields. So what do we have here for snipers? Pitchfork. Slag Pimpernel. This corrosive one, maybe. Shame, really. Nice pimp, even matching grip and damage prefix. Yeah, unfortunately, got the slag on there. Certainly is a lot faster to zoom around this way. But you still get beautiful slagging. Maybe Zero can use it. Okay, so that just does get all doing it that way. Yeah, I can hand it off to zero. Yeah, because I still wanted to do as a, a sniper build with zero. So I can hand it over to a zero for a sniper build. So it's certainly much faster to cover this ground. Oh, there he goes. to move. Okay, so there's Mobley there. I can really see the power of using this uh, using this uh, 
shield combination to get that speed boost. The fleet certainly would cut down the amount of time it takes to farm for stuff. Also makes farming snowflakes so much nicer. There's quite a bit of running there to get to to get this get to snowflake and the the train sure. Yeah, all the running you have to do there. Yep. Have to get used to the timing for the jumps because there's I'm running so much faster. All right, I've got to go. Have a good night. Thanks for stopping by, Pez. And I'll see you later. Enough. There he is on this side. So nothing there. Why buy pairs? Yeah, that is much nicer if you don't have to swap out the shield. You can just keep the one shield on, keep the Rough Rider shield on. So you do have to jump substantially earlier when you're running so fast. Operational sniper rifle and the head skin we already have. Certainly a nice bit of kit to have, nice bit of gear to have when you're farming. White Meliwan launcher there. Now we're doing advanced farming. Yeah, definitely, definitely zooming through them, through the attempts at a faster rate now. So if I drop these two items, 
and pick up the sniper second. That should be first the next run. And drop your guns, yeah, exactly, yeah, had the same idea. Same idea with the gun dropping thing. Keep spawning underneath. At the exact same second, ironically, the second I started typing, you it now if I, yeah. So we had the same thought at the same time. I guess I can just look from here. Doesn't take long to zoom down next to him, but if you can look through the scope there, you can save a little bit of time. Oh, I must have screwed it up. So I have to pick up. Them up, must have picked them up in the wrong order. So if I drop these two guns, Whoa. and I pick up the sniper second, oh, and the top, you've got to drop all three. Pick up the sniper second. Drop three and then picked up the sniper second. So it's in the second position. So the vehicle must be aggroed on me. We've got the music. just like money there I don't think that's anything else yeah just money so it looks like she's got her top near on her oh there we go okay so you got to drop the three weapons and then pick up the, the one you want second so it's interesting you don't have to drop all four weapons, just the f first three. Oops. Pistols there in the chest. Stop the 
No. And then the grog gets added last, which is why you always get one mag of ammo if you spawn with a mission item being held. Okay, so the grog gets added last because it's a mission item, right? Which is why you always get one mag, right? So if I was holding something else other than a mission item, I would have to drop all four all four things hello armor shield oh you just woke up I'm doing very well thank you okay the dog grog cannot be dropped right yes I'm doing very well we're just farming for a Lyuda at the moment So I picked up a uh, the sand hawk and the pimpernel earlier on today, but both of them turned out to be slag. So we got two slag ones at the ultimate vault hunter level. So we've picked up a, f a few other things. We've farmed for a bee shield and a herald, and now we're picking up a lyuda. Man, you made good progress today. Yeah, we did pick up a lot of stuff, that's true. And we got we got the Rough Rider as well. Three hours to get all that. Yeah, we got yeah, I guess we got lucky with the uh, with the Herald and the Bee. We got those pretty quickly. Recently, I have just been watching Band of Brothers and Sharp. Absolute amazing series. Yeah, Band of Brothers is very good. I've watched that one. I haven't watched Sharp yet, but it's on my on my list, list of things to watch. But yeah, Band of Brothers is excellent. It's like a movie quality, movie quality mini series of Band of Brothers. Breakneck Banshee, that's another one. Let's have a look at this other one. So we've got an OP2 one here. It's actually worse. OP2 one's actually worse. So the health penalty is worse on the, the OP2 one. Oh, but it's different. It's got uh, fleet and immolate instead of fleet and backdraft. That might actually be better, I guess. I don't know. I'll hold on to it for now. Yeah, you get more penalty per level. So it's best to pick up a level 50. I see. So that's what's happening. More penalty per level. Right. So a level 50 one's better. Yep. Yeah. So probably better off with the OP1 one. At least the OP one. Napoleonic War Era. Sean Bean, amazing actor, but Band of Brothers is very good. Yes, definitely. Definitely we'll check out Sharp.
So nothing there. I definitely did enjoy Band of Brothers. I used to sleep on a mini series because I thought, well, there's not very many episodes in a mini series, so it's kind of a waste to invest in time into it. But there are some really good ones that are worth it. Do you know how to get the conference call? Because I forgot you don't get it from Donkey Mong. Conference call. I think that's like a bunker and a handsome sorcerer. You stop. Might be wrong about that, but maybe bunker and handsome sorcerer for the conference call. What do we have here? A warrior and handsome, right. Caustic Gospel, level 80. Bunker drops the sham, okay. Yeah. So it's a warrior and handsome for the conference call. Honestly, Uranus in Lilith DLC. Yeah, Uranus drops a ton of stuff. You get all sorts of stuff. It's in his loot pool, but that's along with a bunch of other legendaries. Right. Yes, yeah, so many, so much stuff drops. Cowboy Cannon. And then Maniwan Green SMG. some iridium down there I'll pick that up no reason to let some iridium go to waste
If I were to farm for one, probably Sorcerer, despite having to do all of the Teen DLC. Best gun, in my opinion, is a Herald or Conference Call. Yeah, I mostly use the Herald. I have, to be honest, I haven't really used the Conference Call all that much. Probably should use it more, particularly for the bosses. Okay, but you can't use either as a Sniper. Or to get a second win like an RPG. Yep. So Grog and Harold. That's the generic loadout. Yeah, that seems to be two the two probably the two most powerful Grog and Harold. Scorch is pretty good for Maya. Yeah, I have been enjoying the, the flame SMGs for Maya. Also try other guns with the Grog. Ooh, ouch. Like E-Tech snipers and just spam that with a Horticon and five shots and six. Being a Borderlands 2 since the start is what I always use. Oh, the Grog and Hazel Herald. Fair. I feel everyone should play the game how they're enjoying it. Yeah. Yeah, there's so much, uh, so many items and so much depth to the game. You really get a good opportunity to play the game however you like. You can be successful with so many different play styles and attitudes to the game. Whether you want to play it slow or fast. You all remember Yot Slayer, the YouTuber? I don't know that YouTuber, Yot Slayer. Yep, and now I must shower. All right, Squiggy. Thank you very much for your help. Showing me how to get the, uh, the Rough Rider. I'll see you later. There are a lot of Easter eggs in this game, which is what I like. There is, yeah, there's a lot of humor, a lot of Easter eggs in the game, and a lot of references to, a lot of pop culture references as well. So there's a lot of fun stuff in that regard. Breaking the fourth wall, pop culture references and Easter eggs, and the humor. All of that stuff makes the makes the game fun in itself as well. Oh, I see. So that's an uh, that's an Easter egg, is it? That uh, Yote Slayer. There's a Yote Slayer Easter egg. Oops, I missed that jump. There we go. He was the biggest Borderlands 2 YouTuber back in the day, but unfortunately passed away before 
The release of the pre-sequel, right. That's all money there. Sometimes tough to tell the difference between the money and the legendaries. Before the release of the pre sequel okay. So they did they put a uh, did they put an Easter egg for for him in the pre sequel Yeah, I think so. Right. and green item there in the chest. Silence. So nothing there that time. But the Easter egg is the Lord of the Rings Easter egg. Oh, the best Easter egg. Yeah, that's uh, I think that's probably the, the m most difficult one to unlock, isn't it? Because you have to go, you have to walk all the way across the map. So you need to be, you need to be pretty committed to, uh, to unlock that Easter egg. But I guess if you have something like uh, something like the uh, the fleet and the rough rider, like what I'm doing now, you can probably cover that distance a bit faster. Yeah, honestly, I did it twice, but it was painful, but worth it. Thank you for the follow, Luck X. Hello. Stop. How are you going, Luck X? Finally got one. We finally got a Lyuda there. There it is. Couldn't see it for a second there. So it's a corrosive one. It's got the bayonet on it, so not ideal. But that's good, we, we finally got one. So that's very good, and so it, was, it was nice to, nice to learn how to use this uh, Rough Rider and the the fleet class mod there to zoom around while you're farming. So there we go. We have we picked up quite a bit of stuff today. We got uh, 
let's see, we've got, we've got picked up this Rough Rider. And we picked up this OP2B as well. And we also got this level 80 Herald. And as well as the Slag Sandhawk and the Slag Pimpernel as well. So we've got all that stuff today. B is arguably the best shield. Yeah, certainly seems to be the most useful if you can if you can keep it full. So I was carrying around an old one, like a level 68 one, so. So now that we're up to the OP level, so I've got this one now with a, a decent 6.5% recharge delay. So I'll definitely be making use of that one while I do the Digistruct peak for sure. So yeah, we picked up a bunch of stuff, farmed for a bunch of stuff today. So we can take all of this stuff back into Digistruct peak and see how we go. We're currently OP2 and see if we can get uh, get any further next time. So this might be a good spot to end the stream for now. And next time we'll take all the stuff we just farmed back into Digistruct Peak and see how we go with it. So thank you very much for hanging out. And next time we'll uh, continue with Digistruct Peak and see how we go. See you later, Armour Shield. <laughs>